Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with yet another live stream. I like this little patch here on my workbench. I got my uh, America theme shirt, Living the Dream. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because this is the guitar I brought today. We're slightly out of tune. All right. This is my tuner app that I like here. It's on my iPhone. It's um, it's called Clear Tune. And this this allows me to get. I don't want to get any glare there. So I'm going to tune this bad boy up here. It's too far away. I can't hear it. Okay, so we are tuned EBE. -E. Let me plug it into the amp because it's not loud enough. There's no real acoustic properties to so this guy. It's just a little thin little... So it doesn't really project, sort of projects. I mean, I can hear it, but it's not really super loud. I got me the Roland micro cube here. It'll be off camera. And this one here has got a little input jack here. So it's kind of a neat little nifty out of the way place. How's everybody doing today? Shut it off. Or at least turn it down so nobody nobody interrupts us here. All right, so I'm gonna tune this bad boy now because it's out of tune a little bit. So this is called clear tune. I think it costs a little bit. But I use it all the time for everything. It's the best tuner that I've ever used. There's a lot of free ones. For apps for your phones. As long as you know how to use it, that's the main thing, right? luscious sound this is, my gosh. Little, little, little too much treble. Let me dial it down here. Almost, almost. So what I do is I use the tuner to get me into the ballpark and the tuner is actually still on. It's just, I just leave it set there. And then, um, and then what I do is I hit harmonics. So, um, for the three string cigar box guitar tuned one, five, one, the harmonic at the fifth fret middle string should be the same harmonic as the seventh fret, um, high string. Sorry, 
uh, fifth fifth fret middle string, seventh fret high string. And if it's out of tune, you're gonna hear that wobbling. Now you can also just strum the two two notes together and listen. And I always tell myself, here comes the bride. And I listen for the little same thing. If it's out, you're gonna hear it wobble. And then all I do is to get the top string is I just kind of hit them all. I know that the two mid bottom strings are in tune, then I'd listen for the top string and I'd make sure it's straight, no wiggle. And you'll know because it's like, it'll be straight. There'll be no wiggle. This is the wiggle. So what I would do is I would, I would practice tuning and practice it over and over and over and over and over again. Get, get to the point where you don't even need one of these dumb things. Okay. This is just a crutch that you use to get you in the ballpark. You got to use your ear. So I'm going to play a couple of songs for you guys today. I'm going to play uh, two songs. One of them is the... Get all this junk out of my pocket. Uh, yeah, I'm still getting too much treble here. Roll off the highs. This guitar has definitely got some treble to it. I think, I think what I'm going to do next is put a uh, different pickup system on here. Um, this one here is, is one of those giddy buckers. And the reason why I got it is because it was flat, easily mounted it, but it has the American flag on it and it kind of went with my theme. Um, but I think I want to go for more of a grit, gritty sound. And the piezo on this one here is definitely, definitely got that wonky sound, you know what I'm saying? All right, so how about this one? soul shine and i think they do it in d and then i think they drop so that they're i don't know what tuning they're maybe c sharp or something it's a drop d tuning detuned but you can do it in any key right any any one five one and you're just going to go from the second fret to the third fret i'm sorry fourth fret second fret to the fourth fret Open all the way up to the seventh fret. So it's just the melody, just on the high string. It's a real simple song to the fourth to the uh, four chord on the fifth fret. Love is in the 
water, love is in the air. Love is all around me, tell me where love be there. There is it okay? So let's open. You're gonna and so the, on this one here, the, the tr strumming is a little bit tricky. And that's just the third fret. So it does that three times. Then up here to the fifth fret. Do that again. Now we're gonna go. Repeat. And then the chorus, I come up here to the 10th fret, down to the 5th fret, Heaven let your light shine down. open, and then I get the, which is the 3rd fret to the, I'm sorry, I keep saying that, the 4th fret, it's the 3rd, the major 3rd, on the 4th fret, pinky up here to the 7th fret, Get tired, never get bored. So, an interesting thing here yesterday, I came in here and I spent a lot of quality time making up a blues basics uh, tutorial video. I did the blues scale and I drew it out on the grease board, and, um, and then I did the, the blues box and drew that out on a grease board, and then I uh, did examples. And then when I did the example and then when I uploaded it, what the heck happened was I got a copyright strike, some song somewhere. Um, and it was the most basic version. I just went like, and I was like, ah, oh, copyright strike. And I'm like, what, what, duh, come on. So I am challenging that. And while I'm challenging it, um, I'm not I'm not releasing the video yet because um, for principle, I do have it uploaded at my Patreon, but I'm not going to release the video until they release the copyright strike and then I'll release the video. So it's always annoying when that happens. The algorithms are so sensitive. Now, I understand, you know, that the other song I, I do that I always get copyright strikes on is Rhinestone Cowboy. For some reason, man, I tell you what, the algorithm is so sensitive on that. If you just take a hint of the melody of rhinestone cowboy boom you're going to get a copyright strike and the other one is uh hallelujah uh the song that goes uh i heard there was a secret chord that david played and please the lord yeah if you play that song you're going to get a copyright strike on that one so um oh i see that i see the chats going by here how, how you guys doing uh we we here in new mexico have the most vicious winds in the springtime it's like oh my gosh it's like tornado meets hurricane uh, and if, if your junk is not tied down dude it'll it'll 
it'll be gone, dude. It'll be in the next county. It's like crazy. And then it gets the dust. And then the dust gets in your teeth and your nose and your eyes and your ears. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's just, it's, it's maddening and frustrating. <laughs> feedback oh no 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 this 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 fret here hear that i need to lube it and i was like what the heck i was playing the other day and it's like i got a squeaky fret it's just like for some reason squeak it's so weird n none of the other frets do it see i'm going all around nothing 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 but this note right here the heck so bizarre so bizarre it sounds like feedback but it's just a squeaky fret nuts okay the other song i wanted to do was uh eric clapton's i shot the sheriff now that is in g i'm tuned down to e so if you just tune up to g and then play the same exact thing then you'll then you'll nail it man so um so the, it's a pentatonic scale the pentatonic scale is we're going to go down from the top here. We're going to go 12, 10, 7, 5, 3, open. Now, I, the way I grab it here is I do the top and the bottom strings. So I got an, an octave. And then the underside of this finger here is actually muting this middle string. So if I strum i'm only getting the high string and the low string so it's kind of a cheat right here it's kind of a hack so the middle string is muted by the the flesh underneath this finger pad here so it's going so that lick goes 12 10 7 5 3 jump back up to 7 2, 5 3 open. Now, what I like to do is normally, you know me, right? I like to change things up. So the, the way they do it on the recording is they just go between the open string and the four chord. Seven. But I did not shoot no deputy. But I like to do the bluesy version where I do. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot no deputy. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot no deputy. In the verse, you're going to come up here to the eighth fret. Sheriff John Brown to the tenth fret always hated me. But what I do not know that every time Clarice he said kill it me for that's the seventh fret it grow. He said kill it that's the eighth fret before it grow. Here's a lick. That's a pretty little simple song and uh, loads of fun to play. I love that pentatonic scale right in the middle there. Bob Marley does an awesome reggae version. You'll find versions of this all over the internet. Great song, especially for the three string cigar box guitar song. Uh, tune 151 because you just do.
right. So how are you guys doing today, man? How are y'all doing out there in internet land? Let's see. Hello from France. Hello from Costa Rica. You guys are all over the map here. Rhode Island. We got uh, Lucky Bass Turd. Who made the song? But I think uh, Bob Marley did. I don't know who really originally wrote it. I, I, I'm sure it's on uh, the Wikipedia. You could probably Google that and let everybody know. Um, me personally, I like I like the uh, the Eric Clapton version. Dude, I I love Eric Clapton's music, dude. He he uh, he can do no wrong from him, from my opinion. Gene Ca Cali from California. How you guys doing in California? Um, yeah, Hallelujah, the most covered tune ever. I did a I did a version of that uh, for the four string cigar box guitar. Um, yeah, but like I said, it get I can't upload it because it gets it gets um, copyright striked. So I've been having a lot of fun, fun with the blues scale. Um, this one little lick that I've been doing over and over and over again. I'm just trying to teach my fingers how to do it. Um, it's one of those addicting licks. And I'm just trying to burn it into my subconscious so I don't have to think about it. So my pinky is up here at the 8th fret. And it's a down to the 5th fret. It's a pull-off. It's a triplet. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So this would be the minor third. This is the root, and this is the five. And then I'm going to come up here with my ring finger and catch the seventh fret, low string, and then go back to the fifth fret here, open, and then get my middle finger and get the sixth fret, which is the flat five, and then index finger, middle string, pull off. Here's that sweep. It's kind of cool, huh? A little bit of feedback there. Okay, so this is this is the lick. Then just boom, boom. Isn't that kind of annoying though? Kind of annoying, so I got to stay off that note. You can also do it, and that, that's the same lick, but instead of doing the pull off here, I'm doing the pull off here. So that would be five, three, open. Now I'm going to catch my pinky on the top string, which is the flat five. Ring finger on the fourth fret. And you can even go down. So many cool things you can do. Yeah, I love that lick, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear that sucker out, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Clear as mud. Hey, I finally made uh, to one of your live shows. Yay. Oh, yeah. Thrilled that you are cranking out the vids. Okay, so here, here's the deal. I'm retiring. I'm retiring from my day job here. And I have a little calendar on my work desk. It's got the countdown. And I'm, uh, I got after today, I got 15 more days. That's 5, 10, 15 more days. That's working days. So May 10th is the beginning of my, I'm going to do sabbatical first and cash in a bunch of PA and vacation time. And I'm going to be out of here, guys. Look at those streams. Anyhow, so uh, long story short, I'm going to have time to do agriculture, time to do musicianship stuff, whether that's building uh, guitars, doing YouTube videos, teaching lessons. Um, there's a little church across the street from where I live here. I'm going to do some... Uh, Music for those guys. Um, I'm going to do property management, help my wife with her real estate endeavors. Uh, I'm going to do hiking, camping, fishing, hunting, exploring. I'm going to get some ATVs, go off grid, off grid. 
Uh, obviously, I'm going to be building a workshop. That's that's number one priority. And um, gosh, guys, I'm just going to be I'm going to have a lot of fun, man. I'm going I'm I'm to live my life, guys. I'm going to live my life. And uh, yeah, because, dude, I mean, seriously, you ask yourself, how much money does a person need in order to retire? And the answer is always just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And, and we can play that game for the rest of our lives. The, the truth be told is that you probably don't necessarily need all that money. You know, obviously it's it's nice. Obviously people have, you know, bills and med- medical. Oh my gosh, medical is crazy. Insurance is crazy and stuff like that. But that's why I'm trying to set myself up off grid, man. So I can like grow my own vegetables and I uh, got my own wells drilled and stuff. So, so you know, now I just need, just need to go solar and um, then I'll be really off the grid. Anyhow, so it's just going to be for me, it's 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 a um, it's going to be an adventure. I'm looking forward to it and uh, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. Jeannie says, be an online minister, an online minister, right? Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Do some shooting. OK, so get a get a load of this, man. I can actually shoot on my property. Isn't that crazy? And I have riverfront property. So I'm, I'm telling you guys, I, I, I feel blessed, dude. I do feel like the Lord has got my back on this. And uh, yeah, he, he really has all my life. But but now it's just I, I'm just I'm just overwhelmed, man. It's just like um, I was asking the marshal because um, we have a little marshal in our area. And everybody loves him in our community. My gosh, he's 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 beloved. And so I asked him, I go, hey, where's where's some good places to go shooting around here? <clears throat> and he just looks at me with that dumb look like, huh? What do you mean? Like, you know, I saw, so you know, you know, like a shooting range or, you know, like place place to go shooting. And he just looks at me and he points over to my to the bank on the other side of my river. He goes, you just shoot here. I'm like, are you kidding me? He goes, yeah, just, you know, just let your neighbors know what's going on here so that they're not like all freaked out or nothing. I'm like, oh, like, oh, this is awesome, man. So. You know, I still kind of feel weird about that, you know, firing off in my backyard. But um, um, it's, it's nice to have that option. You know what I'm saying? Um, hello from Ukraine. Are you kidding me? I got I got people from Ukraine on here. Church of the CBG. Yep, that's right. Church of the CBG. Dusty crowding dog. Man, it's hard to believe in Oregon. I love being able to shoot at my own property. Yeah, that, yeah, no, I know. Um, it's so bizarre, dude. It really is. So, it takes some getting used to. There, there's some trade-offs, you know. Obviously, when you're when you're off grid and out out in the wild, you know, you have to beware from varmints and and you're kind of at the mercy of obviously the weather and you know, um, dude. I have cows that have broken the fence somewhere out somewhere out where I have no idea where. And then they come traipsing through my property and stuff like that. And, and they're just uh, eating everything, man. They ate a, they ate one of my pine trees, dude. It's like, come on, you guys. Are you kidding me? Okay. I do want to play a little a little ditty that, uh, that's an original thing that, that every time I pick up this guitar, for some reason, this guitar just wants to play that song. Somebody rolling a cart down the hallway. You can probably hear me.
Yeah, it's a little, a little original little ditty that I always play whenever I pick up my America. America. Well, I did want to show you guys here the uh, buffalo nickel I got there in the head. I got these from uh, CBGiddy.com. And uh, they're meant to be like on the corners of your cigar box. But um, I got a little collection of these guys here. I don't know what to do with them. So I kind of put them in strange places. And isn't that a strange place for that thing? Now, this one here, that this fretboard did not come uh, with a zero fret slot. It actually was cut off here for a nut. And uh, so I wanted to put a zero fret on here. So I actually just glued a piece of wood on the backside here and then cut a little slot in here for the zero fret so I could have my zero fret. So that's, that's the story with these guys here. I wish they would make these stars right side up. Because the upside down star is is kind of it's kind of demonic, right? So um, if I turn the whole thing upside down, then the star would be right side up, but then we the people would be upside down. So can't have it both ways, right? We don't live in a perfect world. Yeah, sweet accent. Huh? This is uh, uh, the only thing is, is that you, you can't really set it down. There's nothing on the bottom here to set it down on. So whenever you set it down, you gotta. Careful that it doesn't fall over. that I play over and over and over again. I play the same things over and over and over again. Another one of my little ditties that I play over and over again. this guy and bend it because then it'll break off main here so you got to be careful all right guys um that's about it i guess i could keep going and on and on and on i don't want to bore anybody to that you're boring me to tears guys um but i am archiving these these um live streams at my patreon and um that's it that's it. I'll probably, I'll keep doing these. I'll probably do, I got, hopefully I got three more in me because I'll be here for three more weeks and I, I like to do these on Wednesdays. So if you're not subscribed, it's a good time to be a subscriber. Um, you can hit that notification bell and then you will be notified whenever I do go live. And um, that's it, guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's important. It's all important. I have a bunch of other cigar box here off, off camera. Um, as soon as I shut off this live stream, I'm going to jam on those guys for a little bit. So that's it, guys. I'll see you around the internet. Take you all. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys around.